Minor Chord Music Outfitters in Littleton, Massachusetts, here today to talk about band instruments. Fall term is coming up soon. A lot of kids will be going back to band. Uh, they're going to need instruments. And uh, there's a lot of different choices out there, so let's talk about some of them. Some grocery stores like uh, Trader Joe's and Whole Foods have discovered that the, the name national brands are maybe not the best value anymore, and we think the same is true of the band instruments. So our instruments here are, well, they're kind of a store brand. Uh, they're brought to us by an importer in New York City uh, who travels to China where most student level band instruments are made these days. Um, there's a lot of good instruments actually coming from China, and a lot of not so good instruments, so you have to be careful uh, when you buy them. But let me show you a couple of things that you might look for. Let me show you some of the features of our instruments, why we think they're of the best quality. Let's take uh, saxophones, for example. So a couple of things about saxophones. Let me just give you one example. These are called the table keys or the spatula keys. They control the big pads at the very bottom of the horn. And you do all this with your pinky. So when you're playing all these different keys with your pinky, one of the things you want to make sure you can do is roll easily from one key to the next. Watch on this horn. If I press this key down, this next one here tilts so I can roll my pinky onto that key very easily. A lot of horns, including many of the name brand ones, don't do that. It makes it tougher for the beginning player. So that's the saxophone. On the trumpet, most important part of the trumpet is the valves. You want the valves to be airtight, but slippery and maintainable. So let me show you here. On these trumpets, the valve piston is made out of a solid piece of metal called Monel. It's an alloy. This is the kind of metal they use for professional level horns. That means that you can maintain this valve and take out dings and dents and so forth without scraping through a, a plated surface. A lot of the less expensive horns have just a chrome plating on their valve underneath this soft brass. Once you wear through that, your trumpet isn't going to play very well. So there's the trumpet. And finally, another example from the clarinet. So clarinets, like most woodwinds, have very complicated uh, key mechanisms here. And all these little, little springs, if you can see there, that when I press the key, the spring brings the key back again when I let go. And on a good clarinet, like this one, there's a little brace down here with an extra screw that keeps that post from turning under the pressure of the spring. Without that little extra brace, the pressure of that spring, as it tries to push the key back up again, could instead turn the post. Then the instrument's not going to play very well. So again, better quality horn is going to have that post with the extra brace, the extra screw to keep it from turning under the pressure of the spring. So um, there are several examples of, of our band instruments. We both rent them and sell them. Uh, very reasonable price. With our instruments, we of course have a rent to own program. And with most of our instruments like trumpets, clarinets, flutes, it's about two school years and you end up owning the instrument. Uh, with a more complicated, expensive instrument like the alto saxophone, it may take you two and a half years. But compared to a lot of other rental programs where you could be paying for four or five years before you own that instrument. So it's certainly worth a look. Come on in, uh, bring your student with you. Uh, students are welcome to try out all of our instruments here. We have a whole display case full. We'll set you up with the instruments and a little mini lesson in case you're just starting band. Uh, so come on in and uh, pay us a visit. We love to help you make music. Thanks.